Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns and Carl Jacobson. And we finally have the results for this year's Christmas Ornament Wood Turning Challenge. Believe me, judging this is a challenge, right? <laughs> it, Carl, was. Uh, it was. It was. It's, it's really hard to make choices when you're looking at very great stuff and, and choosing on fine distinctions. As to the criteria, well, it's what impressed us in the end. We used, tried to use various categories and criteria, and we hope that everybody's happy with the results. We are. We are. Okay, so that's, uh, we hope you are too. So, but first to thank our sponsors, we have, uh, this year we had Craft Supplies, which uh, contributed five books of uh, Dale Nish's uh, Turning Christmas Ornaments and two $25 gift certificates. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, next, uh, Hunter Tools with a mini Halloween set. Very nice, a high demand. Easy Wood Tools with their starter set. They're doing a starter carbide set. I don't have a set of them, but I think they're a smaller starter set like that, but all three of them. Bottom line is the participant will get what that. Yes. Right. yes. Not whole not, set. Not that. Not that. Okay. Or whatever he showed. <laughs> okay. And uh, robust tools with a tool rest, a live center, and a collet handle. Giving away a 12 inch tool rest, a live center, and one of the collet handles. And Very good. Very nice. And uh, pony clamps with easy hold clamps. Yep. Giving away a set of those. Zach Higgins with cast pen blanks. Yep. Giving away good. a set of those. Raw Thank material. You, Chef War Kits with a $50 gift certificate. Conifer Watches with two yeah. wood Thank wrist watches. Like two of these watches. Thank you so Very much. Nice. Lyle Jameson with two DVDs, one on bolt turning and one on hollow forms. Thanks, Lyle. And QB with a custom t-shirt. Show it off. I made that for the challenge. Thank you, Hubie. Yeah, very nice. We want to especially thank all the sponsors which make this even more fun. And, uh, but it also makes the challenge of who gets what in the end. <laughs> but every, every, everyone that is uh, in the top rank, uh, we had them rank order their preferences and they're getting one on their list. Okay. One on their list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now for our winners. All right. Okay, now for the semi-finalists, we actually have these by a category of ornaments. So here we go. Uh, Steve Krumenacher with a birdhouse. And Mauro Migone with a bell formed after nature. Yep. Bill Davis with a fantastic inside out ornament. Then in the we had uh, several people that lit their ornaments, LED. which was with LEDs or whatever, uh, and these were very nice. We had so many that we put them into a separate category by themselves. Okay. So we picked from there Stuart Elks and Hat Lap. Yeah. Then in the non-lit globe category, okay, we picked Yuval Lahav and David Strout and Michael Pennock. Pencati. Pencati. Yep. I think we got that. Okay. Very nice, guys. Yeah, and uh, for the nutcrackers, because we have several nutcrackers, Tommy Ackridge. Tommy Ackridge. And the spindle category, Elizabeth Day and Sterling Davis. And for those that we couldn't categorize <laughs> any other way, uh, Rick Morris and Derek Oliver. Yep. We had a lot of snowmen, so we made a category for snowmen. In that category, we picked Steve Twidell's Cherry Christmas as being our pick for snowmen. Very nice. And in the category of Christmas trees, we picked Russ Phillip, and he did a colored pencil Christmas tree. Very nice. And now for the grand prize. Grand prize. You want to do those? Here, we'll, do, we'll go back and forth. We'll go back and forth. Okay. All right. Number five. Actually, this is. How did that go? This is number five. Okay, it is number five. Oh, we're going to count up. Okay, we're going to count up. <laughs> number five is Terry Vance. He did the snowman and carved it, and 
Did, uh, he his, he wanted uh, the Dale Nish book, the Christmas ornament turning. Okay. And, and then next we have Sam Angelo, the Wyoming wood turner, yeah. who actually declined to take a me. prize and just offered it to one of the other people. So no. thank, thank you, you, Sam. Thank you very much, Sam. It was a beautiful ornament. Beautiful job. All right. And number three is Daniel. Daniel. Uh, uh, Verino? Villa, Villa Reno. Villa Reno. And a beautiful ornament. It's a great story with it. He did, uh, it was the, um, what do you call it? It's a little lantern. Yes, the little lantern. Great the old time lantern. Beautiful, beautiful job, Daniel. And he wanted one of the gullet handles. So that's what he chose. Very nice, Daniel. Oh, now they're stuck together. Oh, can't have that. Oh, that's not why. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then uh, in the second place we have uh, Jose Giordano, I believe it is. Uh, and for his prize, he selected the Easy Wood Tool Starter Set. Starter set. Yep. Okay, thank you, Jose. Beautiful job. And we actually had several youth contributors this time, and we put together a youth category and selected a winner, but actually the youth category is also our number one pick for this year's Christmas Ornament Wood Turning Challenge. Yeah. And we both were blown away by Fantastic what this job. guy could do. And that is Justin Fiaschetti. Justin Fiaschetti. Who 16. is 16, did a fantastic uh, segmented ornament uh, for this year's challenge. Beautiful job. Beautiful job, Justin. And, and he chose it. He chose the uh, 3H Mini Halloween set, so that will be on the way. So, wow. <laughs> We're done. That, that, that's a wrap for this year. Uh, we really appreciate everyone who contributed their ornaments. We appreciate the sponsors who contributed the prizes, and we appreciate all the viewers who are now enjoying all these fantastic ornaments. Right. Wouldn't you say? I would. Okay. Thank you very much. And if you haven't seen all the challenges or all the entries yet, we'll put a link down below in the description so you can go check that out and get some inspiration for next year. There will be next year for number five. Will be next year. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care and Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.